What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here again, and today I want to continue my talk about Boolean algebra and talk about tautologies, contradictions, and satisfiables. Now, in the last tour, we learned about um, Boolean algebra and that you can have a plus represents a logical or, essentially, and a multiplication or a dot basically re represents a logical and. Now, again, the two you can also have a not symbol, which is usually a hat, and you can you can give the sim you can give any of your symbols a value of one or zero, which is equivalent to true and false. True being one, and zero being false. Now, what I'm going to talk about today is a toti a tautology, and to learn about tautology, we must learn about a Boolean table or a true table as it's called, and in mo most people call it. And how you set up a true table is let's say you have two variables, A and B, and each of these values can, and for these two variables, you can have two combinations. And basically, we wanna show all the combinations of these variables within the equations. So, we're going to have a and b for their values, and then we're going to have a and b, or a times b, which is equivalent to a and b, and then we're going to have a naught times b naught. So we, in, the, in these sections, to sort out the true table, we're going to write down all the values. So one combination for a and b is 0, 0. Another combination for a and b is 0, 1. And another combination for a and B is 1, 0, and then the last combination is 1 for both of them. As you can see, this covers all the possible combinations, and depending on the number of variables you use, it will always be 2 to the n number of combinations, and n being the number of variables. Of it. Without further ado, let's continue completing this truth table. So, 0, 0, so this would be 0 and 0 for the first um, row, and so 0 and 0 is obviously 0. And 1 and 0 is 0 again. 1 and 0 is obviously, um, again, still 0, but 1 and 1 is 1, as per the logical statement goes. And that's, our, that's the third column of the truth table. Now for this truth table, since I'm reversing them, a naught I can also write what a naught and b naught are equivalent to on the left side. So a naught and b naught are equivalent to whatever the uh, the opposite of what I made a and b in this table. So that will be equivalent to one and one in this situation, and it will be equivalent to one and zero in this situation from this table, and zero and one and zero and zero. So as you can see, I've now reversed it because I'm using the a and b hat. So now all we can do is instead of looking at these values, we're going to look at these values. And so we say a naught and b naught, one and one, so that's true because one and one is true. Uh, one and zero is false. Zero and one is false as well, and zero and zero is obviously false. So this is a Boolean table. Now we're going to talk about what a tautology is. A tautology is if, for example, I did this true table and every single variable, every single value of the table that I had is 1. So, and what I mean by this is that the end result is 1. So let's just say I did this equation for A and B instead of A a and b, a not and b not, because that's a different equation. I could combine them, but let's just say I have this table, and then I have, and so this is known as a satisfiable. And a satisfiable is what happens if at least one of the values in the last column or the last or the whole equation equals one. So you have at least one, one, one true value. One, one. I know that doesn't make sense, but it does. And now a tautology, 
I guess I'll just type it out, is when, let's say, for instance, in this last column, all the values equaled 1. So tautology, and you spell that T-A-U-T-O-L-O-G-Y, -T -T I believe, tautology um, equals all um, last values equal 1. You can also have a contradiction, which maybe you can figure out. It's when all the last values, all the last values equal zero. So you may be asked on a test, is this a tautology? And what you do is you fill out the truth table, and then you see if the whole you fill out the truth table for that equation and see if every single combination, if every combination equals one. And if it does, you know it's a tautology. If they all equal zero, you know it's a contradiction. And Maybe they won't even ask you about satisfiable, but you know it's satisfiable if at least one of them is true. Well, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my website, tell me what you think, or leave a comment. And next video, I'll be going over product of sums and sum of products. Have a great day.